Hey guys, this video is about types of solid or 3D shapes. So the very first thing that um, we identify is what is a polyhedron? So a polyhedron is just a solid with all flat sides. So an example of a polyhedron would be a prism, like this, or a pyramid, like this. So you can see that the difference is for our pyramid, each of these flat sides meet at one point, one vertex, whereas a prism has two bases. So the main difference is two bases versus the one base. A few other types of polyhedrons would be a cube, a prism with all square sides. So you would know that a cube is a cube because every single side would have a little tick mark on it to show you that it's the same length. And then a triangular pyramid, which is a three-dimensional shape made of all triangles, is also called a tetrahedron. So this is a vocab word you just want to familiarize yourself with and be aware. It's really just the same thing as a triangular pyramid. There's other types of solids. So we've got cylinders, cones. These both have a circular base, which I'll shade in right here here. So again, cylinders, two bases, cone, only one base. Okay, a sphere, I'm sure we've seen this before, is one huge surface that's curved. So no flat surfaces on any of these, so therefore these are not polyhedrons. Okay, now there's more vocabulary words to describe specific parts of a polyhedron. So for example, we have, this is a hexagon, and there's two bases. So this would be a hexagonal prism. Whenever you name a polyhedron, you want to use two words. So the first word is going to identify the base. The second word is going to identify if it's a prism or if it's a pyramid. On this prism, we have a couple of different parts. So we've got the base shape, right? So I'll highlight that base, which is the, the hexagon here and the hexagon there. There's two bases on a prism. Then we have all of these other flat surfaces around the sides. So this rectangle is called the lateral face. It's a flat space on this three-dimensional shape that is not a base. And then we've got vertices. These are all the little points pretty much like the corners, and then we've got edges, which are segments, right, sides of the figure. So these are segments that connect two vertices. Just to refresh our memory about a couple more vocab words, regular versus not regular. So remember whenever you have a regular shape or figure, that means that all sides are congruent, and so you would need to look for tick marks on every single edge in order for a 3D shape to be regular. So if, even if it has a couple of tick marks, but not on every single one, it would not be regular. For example, a rectangular prism would not be regular because not all sides are congruent on a rectangle. Convex versus not convex. Um, if you think back to when we learned about our polygons, we said, you know, this is kind of like concave to look for the caved in part. So look for a shape that looks like it has a chunk out of it or a bite taken out of it, and that would not be convex. If it doesn't have a chunk taken out of it, if all the diagonals are inside the figure or on the figure, then it would be convex. But if you could draw at least one diagonal on the outside, not convex. So just to review, to name a, a polyhedron, you would first identify the base shape and then tell me if it's a prism or a pyramid. So the key that you want to know, you always need two words to name a polyhedron. One is not enough. Here are some questions that you could think about after watching this video. 
Um, if you're able to answer them correctly, then you fully understood what you watched. So I'll pause it for a moment and then um, questions will show up with answers so you could review your understanding.